for YouTube. I'm back. Um, I have a haul from a friend today of mostly vintage items and I told her I'd do an unboxing because it's very exciting. Um, we did a box swap yesterday and um, a socially distanced box swap. No worries. Um, yeah, so I did go through this already and I will show you my favorite piece last, but I want to share. Um, my friend Stephanie, Catch and Release, she is on Poshmark and I think Mercari, I'm not sure if she's, oh, and Kittizen maybe? Sorry, Steph. Um, I will link her Instagram and Poshmark below because those are the ones I know. <laughs> anyway, I will start. So, this jacket. So much fun. I don't know, it doesn't have like a have any sort of materials tag on it. It's got these fun little buttons with lions on them. <laughs> and uh, it does say it's a size 16. I tried it on and it is just a little too tight on me so I'm going to say that it's a vintage 16 which is like a 12 maybe. It doesn't have any stretch. It's pretty solid but it is awesome. I love this. Next is this Columbia jacket. I rocked the Columbia back in middle school and high school. This one is definitely 90s looking, just by the tag on it. Um, it's in great condition, size large. Um, yeah, it's great. I mean, I'm not above selling winter coats still. It snowed here the other day, so. We can still wear them. She threw in this belt, which is cool. Um, this is, it's not vintage from Kohl's, but um, it's great to like have extra belts for things that are missing belts. Kind of like cinch them up. <laughs> this thing is cool. It's, I think this is like a dicky or something. <laughs> for your neck. It's very cute. Little collar. So she also threw in a bunch of men's graphic tees, because um, I like selling graphic tees and men's stuff. I'm not sure what this brand is. I mean, I see the brand, but I've never heard of it. Effectus Clothing. There's two shirts in here by them. Kind of cool. Um, probably like some sort of streetwear thing. And let's see this one. I don't know if this is supposed to be a Bruins one or something. I'm I'm really not a sports person. It just says Beast. It's kind of cool. This one, Sag Sager Strong. I don't know. It's kind of funky. Let's see. This one is oh. Nintendo GameCube or Nintendo 64, one of those. Nintendo 64. My fiance would be mad that I got that wrong. <laughs> he would probably kept this if this was his size, but this is a 2XL. I think most of them are 2XL. This one's cool, Cartoon Network. It's got a whole bunch of characters in it. This one I love. I'm debating keeping this one for myself. Just as like a lounging shirt. Cat dog, come on. Love cat dog. <laughs> this is cool. I think this is one of those like red bubble t-shirts or something like the artist made ones, but it's got like all the different like horror movie characters. It doesn't have a size, but it looks like it's about a 2XL. Oh, and here's the other one by that Effectus clothing. Some like funky stuff. Maybe I'll lot them together. I think they're both the same size. Yeah, double XL. Um, and I do have two kids, vintage kids items. So I gave Stephanie a whole box of kids items that I just was not excited to list because I don't have any kids. I don't know. It's just, 
I love kids' clothes. I think they're adorable. But then when it comes to listing them, I'm just not motivated. But I do love vintage kids' clothes. And I know she picked this up, the bins. So cute. This little rocking horse. It is missing a button, but that's an easy fix. Or you could just replace both buttons. I think it... Is that a size? Oh, it's an... Oh, it's vintage Carter's. It's 12 months. It's a vintage Carter's tag, if you haven't seen one. And this one is an Oshkosh baby bagosh. Oops, everything is falling. <laughs> Very cute. I do love those. Right. Next, so she gave me this picture frame with this cool, cool like vintage bathing suit. I actually have already repainted it because it had a lot of like marks on the side and I'm just gonna like wipe it up and I mean this isn't vintage but it's a vintage style bathing suit. It's pretty cute. This was another favorite of mine. This Rampage jacket. How 90s is this? It's got like a velour collar and like velour buttons. And this little like lace pocket thing and it's got shoulder pads so it's so cool it's a size small okay sorry i keep disappearing but bags on the floor so there's this two-piece suit by royal robbins it's got these like little capri pants they're 100 percent cotton they're, like little cargo pockets and the top, super cute, right? Perfect for summer, lightweight. It's been freshly dry cleaned. It is an actual faux, not faux wrap top. It's an actual wrap top. This, I don't believe is vintage, but it's just really fun. Check it out. This giant macaw on the back. All the buttons are there. Let me see, is that a size? I think it's a large. It's cool though. I like it. <laughs> this is also not vintage, but this sweater is so soft. Oh my gosh. So soft. It's really pretty. It's Calvin Klein. Size medium. I like it. I love this like I don't know what you call this it's like a metal but I don't know it's like a mesh it's just like a little clutch it did have a some sort of strap at some point but let's just use it as a clutch this my fiance says we're keeping he's very Italian and it's got cannoli recipes on the back we were just talking about cannolis the other day. Well, this is another favorite. This vintage bathing suit. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. It's like one of the ones that like covers your bum. It's kind of like sheer in the back though. It's the only thing. But it's got like a bra top. It's like very stiff. And it also has adjustable button straps which is very cool it does I don't think it has a size but I don't know I love it and here it's my favorite so this dress I saw it first and I was like oh my god I like pull it out and then I just like drooled over it for a while before I even looked at anything else the only thing that was really sad about it is that it was like super super altered Somebody's doing yard work, like, outside the window, sorry. Um, but, yeah, I will show you. So, somebody, like, it's it's pr beautifully embroidered, but somebody altered it, so they're like, so oh, my camera wanted to just cut me off in the middle of my favorite piece here. Thanks, camera. Anyway, so I was showing you how, so it's, like, double-stitched, like, I, so the one on the other side, I spent like two hours taking the stitches out last night and it added like another 
three inches to the side. And then there's another one somewhere right here. No, <laughs> it's so hard to see because it's a maxi dress. So it's like, it's got a lot of fabric to begin with. Yeah, so there's like two more that I need to release the stitching of. I released the stitching on these sleeves because they were all like bunched up, like super small. I made them big again. Like, I, I wish this was my size. I would just keep it. It's so beautiful. It's very 70s. But there is one little spot that needs to be fixed right there. But I think somebody will definitely appreciate this. So pretty. So anyway, that is it. That's the end. Thank you, Stephanie, for everything. Um, yeah, I will put all her info down here. I'll put all my info down here. If there's anything that you're interested in, send me an email on Instagram. We can work out a deal. And until next time, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Stay safe.